Mr. Sanghi, kindly throw light on Entity Com India Net Magic's partnership with Nuage Networks, a Nokia venture. Uh, Net Magic, uh, along with Entity Com India, today launches SD WAN services in India. We partnered with Nokia, uh, Nuage from Nokia, um, to do this uh, SD WAN launch. Uh, there were many reasons why we selected Nuage. Uh, the the key reason was zero touch provisioning, so very easy to deploy. The other reasons also that it is independent of the service provider that we use. So there's an overlay network that we build along with Nuage, and that gives benefit to the customer because it increases agility, security, and ease of use for the customer uh, when he's using, uh, trying to connect his remote offices uh, across the country. How will this partnership help NetMagic differentiate itself and boost its business in India? Why did NetMagic zero in on Nuage? So uh, the partnership will distinguish uh, NetMagic because A, the, it's the easiest amongst all the solutions that we tried, this was the easiest to use. As I said, there's zero touch provisioning, so it's very easy to ship a box to the branch office and have any person in that branch office Bring, just power on the box and click a link and the box is up and running. The other reasons that th we selected uh, Nuage and why this will give us a unique proposition in India is that it is independent of the service provider underlying. So we c this will create an overlay and make this a truly unique service in the country. Also, it's a very secure solution. So given that we're using public networks like internet, this will make the, uh, the security features of the solution, we believe, are industry leading. And that will give us a unique positioning in the Indian market. Mr. Khandekar, what was the idea behind this partnership? How will this partnership enable enterprises in India? Um, this partnership, uh, from our perspective, uh, is really about helping and really establishing NetMagic, Entity Com India, as pioneers in SD-WAN technology um, and SD-WAN services. With their portfolio, existing portfolio of offering colo, hosting, uh, private cloud services, as well as access to public cloud, from a single pane of glass, enterprises will be able to get the power of automation and realize that power in terms of operational efficiencies. Uh, and this will allow enterprises to truly um, drive profitability and understand uh, how their networks can be automated fully in order to realize the benefits of cloud. Mr. Khandekar, could you tell us about any other organizations utilizing Nuage's services at present? Sure. Uh, we have established um, presence in over 129 companies, a mix of service providers as well as enterprises across the globe. Um, while this is our first partnership in India, it truly is very remarkable in, in terms of our presence in such a short time with such large enterprises as well as service providers. And the unique part about Nuage is that we do network automation end to end in terms of data center all the way in, into wide area. And so we are helping service providers as well as enterprises do automation in both data centers as well as in wide area for SD-WAN services. Mr. Sanghi, how is the service different from that provided by other service providers in the Indian market? So most uh, telco providers in India are providing MPLS-based services. It's not that they cannot provide SD-WAN services, but uh, the, this service we believe will disrupt the Indian market because not only will it give more agility, and more security, but also will reduce the cost by between 30 to 40 percent. And so we, we, we believe that once we launch this, that there will be others who will follow suit. Mr. Sanghi, what are the verticals to be addressed with your new SD-WAN service? So this will apply to any enterprise that has multiple locations that needs good connectivity. So whether it is banking and finance, it is retail, it's government, it's manufacturing. Across multiple verticals, this service will be very useful. And um, all our, uh, I'd also like to add that 
you know, as Sunil mentioned, that there are multiple cloud providers in the country. We also are India's first multi-cloud service provider. So this will allow us, from a network perspective, all the way, give an end-to-end -end solution where, through a single pane of glass, a customer can control not only his cloud instances, his storage, but also his wide area network. Uh, and pro uh, he can download common policies across multiple branches and also determine the amount of bandwidth that he needs for different applications. Is this partnership only for the India region or will it be rolled out to other locations as well? So we're beginning with the Indian market uh, and uh, you know, we believe this will be very successful and we're very confident that in the future we look at other markets as well. Mr. Khandekar, is the traction for SDN coming from the service provider customers or the enterprise's customers? What are the factors driving the trends? I would say it's a bit of both. Um, very large enterprises have a large number of branches that need connectivity quickly, securely, and in an automated fashion. Um, also, large enterprises have needs to access either their own private clouds, applications in their own private clouds, um, SaaS clouds as well as DevOps workloads currently in um, public cloud. And these requirements are the ones that enterprises are looking at in terms of SDN solving and helping them automate this. The accessibility of applications from any location using SDN or SD-WAN infrastructure is critically important to the enterprises. Service providers are looking at this in terms of an opportunity to refactor their existing IPM PLS portfolio in order to serve the needs of these enterprises, in order to deliver self-managed uh, SD-WAN services. And likewise, they're also looking at doing network uh, NFV, network function virtualization, for their own internal cloud infrastructures. And that's also where SDN can play a very big role in automation. Mr. Sanghi, how will SDN affect incumbent telecom data providers in India? So I think SD-WAN will disrupt the market, as I said. Uh, I believe that this will reduce the, uh, of, uh, the, the cost of connecting multiple locations uh, in a secure and agile manner. And I, I believe that once we launch this, I believe a lot of others will follow suit. And uh, Mr. Sanghi? How will the NTT Com India NetMagic SD WAN service benefit enterprises? So, the, this service will benefit enterprises through multiple ways. One, ease of use, that is, zero touch provisioning. So, the installation process in a remote location becomes very easy. Second, the customer has control. So, we are giving the control of the network to the customer, just like he has control of his cloud infrastructure his storage infrastructure on the cloud, he will now have control of his network infrastructure as well. The customer, if he has multiple locations, if he has, let's say, thousands of locations across the country, will have multiple underlying service providers. This being an overlay network, it doesn't matter if he has multiple service providers. There's a common solution that can stitch all of this together. And so these are, and then this is a common solution, as I said, with a single pane of glass. He can manage his cloud instances, storage instances, as well as, well as his network. So all these benefits, Will, will, be, will, will be what the enterprises get once they subscribe to the service.